family it's the mobile home diva and in today's video i am going to be sharing with you this wonderful house it's a 32 by 80 manufactured home it's four bedrooms three baths i feel like all of the houses that i've shared here lately have been four and five bedrooms which could be a good thing sometimes i cater to the single wives Sometimes we have the bigger homes. So this is a four bedroom, three bath. It's made by Cabco. I love their homes and I'm gonna show you why when we get inside. I won't tell you too much about the house. Let's go inside and take a look. Love that it has the built-in porch. Of course you wanna extend this porch, but the reason that I love it is because even if your porch doesn't have an overhead, you have shelter from the elements as you're walking into the house because and it's already built in so let's go in and take a look hey family just a quick disclaimer i do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home i record these videos because i love touring these homes and i share my personal opinion of the homes that i view if you have any questions about finding this home pricing or specifications all the information that I have will be down in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. All right, this is the door that we came in. You have this kind of foyer area. Let me show it to you. Right here to the split, all of this could be considered foyer. I could see a nice bench over here or even over here or a table here with a lamp. You can even put something, a console of some sort over there. But this is uh, like a foyer area. So you have all of this area. When you first walk in, you have the cutout there um, to take off shoes and things like that. Really nice. So as you come in, this will be your living room area. All of this space here. Took my shoes off. You've got a ceiling fan in here. You've got all of those windows over there. Just lots of light. Let's go take a look. You've got this tall window here. You've got this kind of like bay window. And then you've got another tall window over here. So lots of lighting in this room. Really nice really nice so all of that is your living room area and again you have a ceiling fan now this is at the front door so this gives you an idea of how big this space is you guys and what i like is that it's open to the kitchen but it's not just totally wide in, wide open so when somebody comes in they see the entire house so i'm gonna spin around one more time and let you now that i have it on wide angle just give me an idea of the foyer area. Now that's to the split. So all of this would be considered, or I would have it to be like a foyer area. And then when you come on into the house, you have all of this as your living room. Now around to the left, you have this archway that goes into the dining room and kitchen. So all of this is dining room and kitchen. This first area here, would be considered your dining room. You've got all of this space for your dining room. You've got sliding glass doors that could lead out to a wonderful deck. Lots of space. You've got can lights in here, you guys. Um, in the ceiling, I'll show you that in a minute. But again, this is your dining room area. Really lovely. On around, you've got your kitchen all of this is kitchen you've got this huge this island in the middle that can seat two or three bar stools you've got lots of storage space in here i'm gonna go back and put my shoes on <clears throat> you've got lots of storage space in here we'll open one one or two and take a look Oh, goody. So you've got 
shelves in here. Really nice. Sometimes the pantry space doesn't have shelves, but I love it when you have shelves so you have all of that space for your pantry items and all of these cabinets. I also like the fact that this island is a darker color with a light countertop and then these white cabinets have a darker countertop, which is really cool. Built-in microwave uh, over your stove. You've got double sinks and a window that opens. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this is your kitchen. And then you've got lots of can lighting in this kitchen. So you've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten can lights in here. Really nice. Really lovely. So again, this is the view from the kitchen through the dining room into the living room. Super nice. All right. Off the kitchen, we'll close these. That's your sliding glass door. Off the kitchen, you have two places to go. You have this area and you have this area. So we'll start here first. Right here, you have two bedrooms and a bathroom. To the left, this is guest bedroom number one. So you have all of this space as your guest bedroom. And it has cattle corner to the room. A nice, that's not really a walk-in closet. It's a standard closet, but I like that they thought enough to bring the shelving around so you can have more space. So that's always awesome. Really nice. So guest bedroom number one. Next to guest bedroom number one is the guest bath. You have a transom window over the tub shower combo. There's your toilet sink with a lot of cabinet space. Excuse me, a lot of counter space. And then you have a cabinet and three shelves in here. And then you have a, one, a mirror. Really lovely. And then of course you have your guest bedroom number two over here, same size guest bedroom with the closet cattle corner as well. Really lovely. All right, so that's two bedrooms and a bathroom right there in this little area. Okay, and then through the kitchen and down this hall to the right, you have a huge pantry, you guys. This pantry right here. This is a bedroom, okay? Look at this pantry. I've never seen a pantry this big. I wish you could really be here to see just how, look at this. Look at this. Just look at all of this. There's an echo from here to cross town. Shelving goes all the way around. Beautiful, nice, really nice. So you've got your pantry here, it has a door. You have a large utility room here. There's your back door around this corner. Look at all these cabinets. Look at all these cabinets, y'all. Just look at all these cabinets and counter space and a sink and cabinets and cabinets. Your washer and dryer go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up, nine upper cabinets. One, two, three, four, five, six, six lower cabinets. Like, come on, you guys. Come on, okay? You can put a stove in here and it'd be another kitchen. This, be a, this is the size of an apartment kitchen. Just this area right here. You still, walking in the back door, you have all of this space over here to do what you want. You can put your deep freezer over there. You can either do the wide one or the long one. You could put a mud room in here like Look, that's the size of a regular utility room. 
right there. That's This is just extra space, okay? Over here is where the magic happens. Beautiful. Great job on the, on the utility room, you guys. Really good job. So you got a large pantry here. You've got your utility room here. And then you've got your third guest bedroom here. Uh, seems to be the same size as the other two, which is not a bad size at all. Same closet here. Great use of space on the closet. Lovely. So this would be my big kids' room, and the two younger ones would share the other two if I had a family and I had this space. Really nice. And then they have their own bathroom, and it has a transom window over the tub and shower as well. Same setup, right? Same setup. Then you've got this cute little cubby hole here that if you wanted to, you could do something with. I'm just saying. Really nice. Ha <laughs> ha! That laundry room and that pantry for me. Okay? Really lovely. Really lovely. So let's go back through the kitchen because I could spend all day in here in this house, but we've got to get moving. So off the living room, you have the master. Let's take a look at this huge master. Could put a king size bed, headboard between those two windows. Really nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I told you this is the house that keeps on giving you guys. All right, look at there. You got a sitting area in here. First time I've seen one of these in a master in a while. All of this is sitting area. You've got a window in here. You can put a nice couch or two high back chairs. You can make it real sexy, you guys. I could see, I'm going to tell you what I could see. See that window? I could see two high back chairs on either side. I could see a fireplace down here and a TV up there. Console over the table over here or either bookshelves for books and knickknacks and things like that. I would put a fur rug in the middle, just something real sexy, and I'd have candles everywhere. This would be the room that I, my husband and I could come in, get away from the kids, have grown-up time, talk, laugh, study, read the Bible, just whatever we want. I love it. So that is the sitting area outside of this already large master, okay? From inside the sitting room, this is that back wall of the sitting room. All of this is your space. You can't beat it. It's, it's, you know what? I thought it was the pantry and the laundry room, uh, but it's the sitting room for me. Okay, look at there. Beautiful. Let's go in the master bath here. Love how you've got a sink on either side of the tub that gives a separation. Everybody got their own space. Each sink has three drawers and a cabinet. Nice, uh, counter space. Each sink has a mirror. You've got a window, a frosted window. Well, I, I don't know if it's frosted. I'm not going to lie because it's still covered, but you got a window over the tub that actually opens, which is always nice. You've got this huge shower here. Doesn't have a rain shower or shower head, but you can always either ask for one or it'd be cheaper to get your own. But this is an upgraded shower, large shower. You've got your toilet room in here, and then you've got the master closet in here, which is really dark, you guys. Take my word for it, it's huge. It's massive, okay? And hopefully there's some decor picks that have the closet, but this is a nice master. Bathroom, plenty of space, bedroom. Just really nice, lovely. I love this home. This is a Cabco, you guys. Cabco is a nice brand, upgraded homes. They have vents in the ceilings, finished drywall in some. This one doesn't have finished drywall, but it would be a lot more expensive if it did. So this is a Cabco 4332 SP. This home is 129.9. 
plus tax. And that in always includes AC, setup, and delivery, okay? All right, it's raining outside. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the tour. This is the Mobile Home Depot.